Brian here from quantlabs.net. I want to show you the IQ feed now working within MATLAB. Now the version I'm working with is uh, MATLAB 2013A. Uh, this is uh, effective, I think MATLAB 2012A or B, I'm not sure which one, but uh, you need to upgrade to at least 2012. So let's talk about it. So with IQF, um, basically what we're doing is um, we are opening up a connection uh, using this IQF username password um, and uh, that seems to work okay so if you look at my workspace it's there it creates it's working great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, some uh, functions that you can use with uh, IQ feed um, so let me show you the first one the typical time series um, so let's say uh, I'm going to use a basic one um, Looks like there's just people know that there's a typo here, and there's help. Um, so as I said, my connection does uh, is currently open. Um, that's the queue. So uh, let me just clear this, and I'm just using the exact uh, examples here. That's what I love about MATLAB. Um, and then voila. Takes a little bit of time, I believe. There you go. So there's our entire market data history. Um, I don't know how far back it goes, but today's the 18th of June. So I believe that'd be tick data or whatever, but uh, I'll let you figure that out. But you can see it brought back uh, over 12,000 rows. Um, and that seems to work okay, so let's do something else, shan't we? Uh, let's talk about real time. Um, okay, this is obviously real time. Now, the thing is, what you should be aware of is that you can uh, interface this with uh, listeners and event handlers within MATLAB, so that's pretty powerful. Um, not sure how you could do that with uh, R. Um, with the equivalent, um, but uh, I'll let the other people decide on how that works. But I'm just going to show you the simple example here from within um, from within MATLAB. Okay, so we got a real time. So let me just get the next line. Uh, and there you go. That would be the real time for that stock symbol of ABC. Okay, all the usual stuff. Okay, so let's do another one. Uh, I don't know, um, why don't we try history? Um, now again you have exactly the um, listeners and event handlers that uh, MATLAB does give you. I'll let you figure out how to use that. Um, but it's powerful stuff uh, for sure. Um, but I'm just doing a simple one. I, have, I haven't tried these yet. Um, may or may not, but uh, those are very powerful. Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net again. Uh, looks like I've partially found part of the problem is that if you have two, as I said before, IQ feed connections open, like with a Q and a capital Q, which I had, it gets confused with MATLAB. So you should only have one. If you get messed up, you just do a close, uh, like here, and then just close the Q, and then start over again. But I'm not going to do that. I just want to show you one last um, uh, item here and that's the news on this particular stock and then uh, that's it so there you go you get your news items uh, as well for that particular um, symbol uh, the news and market depth kind of works uh, I've seen it work and sometimes it doesn't work I don't know why but you get this weird uh, it does not exist uh, uh, variable does not exist but at the end of the day um, it's not the best demo I realize um, I don't I'm pretty sure that these issues that I'm running into are nothing to do with the IQ feed themselves they're probably something within the MATLAB um, it's not a hundred percent for whatever reason or the messaging is not a hundred percent but it does work um, to a certain point <laughs> at least I, I got some stuff working and I can demo it on YouTube so hopefully, I'm hoping that kind of helps you out. I wish you could have something more solid.